Hey guys, we're back! It's your favorite slot playing crazy lady in Las Vegas. We're playing Fortune Harmony! We got some dragons, we got some fortune, we got some harmony. Let's get into it. $100 going in, face up! Luck up! That's the way we place our bets. Does anyone call it Bill? Isn't it weird that we call them dollar bills, but it's Ben Franklin on it? Uh, I guess he's not on all bills. Is there a bill? Is there a bill on a dollar bill? I don't think there is. Anyway, $100 is in. Let's get to it. Let's fix this camera. And now we're at it. All right. And away we play. Not gonna lie, this machine, awfully quiet. Not off to a hot start. Hello, Phoenix. Hello, dragon. I'm team Phoenix over here. I have been a Phoenix after all. I am a phoenix. Watch me fly. I'm a peacock, boss. You gotta let me fly. Hashtag Mark Wahlberg. He lives here. The pride and joy of Las Vegas. Mark Wahlberg moves to Las Vegas, which is so bananas to me. I've never seen it make news when a celebrity moves. To a lot of famous people live here. A lot of famous people live in Las Vegas. It's Las freaking Vegas. A lot of people, like, I don't know, have residencies and perform here. A lot of really famous people. I mean, we own Bruno Mars at this point. Like, he just, he is a, a, a service of ours now. What happened? We filled up already? Woo! I almost missed that. Haha. -ha. Apparently, we're Team Dragon. Let's go, Dragon. Phoenix awaits. So we got the Dragon. We just need to get Homegirl Phoenix. But you know, guys come faster. A girl takes a little while. But here we go. Playing away. Fill up my cup. Fill up the Phoenix cup. Go Jean Grey. Go Jean Grey. What was I talking about? I was on to something. Oh, Mark Wahlberg in Las Vegas. So... Good old Marky Mark comes to Vegas, moves here. It's headlines, makes no sense. Mind you, since when is where Mark Wahlberg... Ooh! Win! Yay! Thank you, Dragon Man. Winning! Hashtag winning! Still climbing. Yay! There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, chicken. How's your mother? Tell her I said hi. What does he say? Is that how he does it? That was Andy Stamberg's impression of Mark Wahlberg. Because I'm not done talking about Mark Wahlberg. The man moves to Vegas to, quote, provide a better life for his family, end quote. And then, I don't know if you guys know this about Mark Wahlberg, but he also spent some time in a little house called the Jail House. Have you guys been? Did you know that? So I don't think that places that Mark Wahlberg says, hey, we should live here, are exactly the places that you should live. The man went to jail for a literal hate crime. But we all just want to forget that, and I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, he did two hate crimes on two different occurrences. But he's still a cultural icon. Watch him on TV. Oh! Speaking of TV... Somebody left a comment. His name is Kid Clay One, and he said, uh, "What about the TV story?" Uh, and uh, so, shout out to you, Kid Clay. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I did, in fact, never finish the TV story. So, in summation, to catch you up to date, I moved, and I had a TV, and the TV successfully made the move. I, the big boss that I am, uninstalled said TV from house number one. Put it in a box that happened to perfectly fit because I ordered boxes to pack my stuff up in boxes and the TV fit perfectly in the box that the boxes came inside. I even put some blankets in there and I like made it all soft and cushiony. Transported it in a truck that I was driving, just a regular Ford 250, whatever the hell truck it was. Drove it, unpacked the house, unpack everything. And I was in such a rush to get this TV hung because I have young children and watching TV matters. And we only have the one TV. And I was like, whatever, I didn't have a magnet. So I just kind of knocked, knocked, knocked on the wall, hung the TV all by myself. The thing was hung. It was beautiful. It was centered. It was level. 
And then I went to uh, make one minor adjustment, uh, making it less crooked. And the whole TV came off the wall, hit me in the head on the way down, and broke. So that had happened. <laughs> and then, so I plugged it. I plugged it in after um, having a quick little Menti B. I plugged it in and was like, oh, it still works. So I just kind of had it propped up on the ground, but the, the one corner was broken. And then it was, it was, it was passable. It wasn't, it wasn't a long-term solution, but it was working. And then my son picked it up just a little plastic toy and threw it at the TV. And that was it. That was the final. It survived the fall, but that was the final straw. And then the whole thing, shit the bed, doesn't work. So upon moving, which in and of itself is expensive, I had to buy a brand new TV and I hired people to install it so that this didn't happen again. And after they installed it, guys, I was off by a half inch. Off from the stud by a half an inch. So close. And now there's these giant gaping holes, but they're behind my new TV. So I don't see them. So I just kind of forget that they're there. And then I got this new wall mount. I didn't need to get a new wall mount, but I wanted one. And it has neon lights on it that go with the colors of what's being shown on the TV. It's actually pretty cool. It was like $20 on Amazon. So moral of the story, don't break your appliances because about seven hours before that, I broke my vacuum. So caused like $1,300 in damage within the course of eight hours. After moving. After. I did the hard part. Hard part done. Hard part fine. It was it was the, the after part that wasn't so great. We are down to $68. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't help that I'm talking about breaking and damaging things. But that's the way we rumble. Are you ready to rumble? Rumpe, rumpe, rumpe. Those are three different songs right there. You know the worst thing? You know what? I'm not even going to say it because I don't want to speak it into existence when I'm talking about things that I have broken that I needed besides my mental health, besides my insides. You know I have a new saying? Have I said this to you guys? My new saying is, peace on earth starts with peace at home. So be kind to one another. Call your mother if you have a good one. If you have like a shitty mom, then don't talk to her at all. Uh, but if you have a good one, give her a call. Or a dad, or a grandma, cousin, your own children. I know they don't really call you as much, but if you haven't called them in a while, Give them a ring-a-ding. If they're in jail, write them a letter. You know. You have a cousin, brother, sister, old friend you haven't connected with in a while. Speaking of connecting and writing, people uh, got a lovely comment from Looking Up. Shout out to Looking Up for a suggestion on how to end the videos, which I'll be walking away any moment now, my friends. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Um, but shout out to Looking Up. Here we go. Thanks for the ride along. But this train has left the station. Catch you on the flip-flop. XOXO, Gossip Girl. All right, that part I added. But let me know how you think I should end videos on the next one. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.